Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. Let us look at this interesting problem related to logarithms asked in JEE 2012. We have to find out 6 plus logarithm of we have some value given here to the base 3 by 2 equals to how much. Now let's focus on what is given here. We have 1 by 3 root 2 multiply with under root 4 minus 1 by 3 root 2 again multiplied with under root 4 minus 1 by 3 root 2 multiplied with under root 4 minus 1 by 3 root 2 multiplied like that it is repeating infinite times. So what is our approach to solve this problem? Now whatever we do what we need to get is this whole value in terms of 3 by 2. Now then we can say that logarithm of a power n to base a equal to n so that we can get a integer or fraction out then we can simplify that we can get our answer. So let us focus on this part which is repeating infinitely and see how we can solve that find out the value of that. Once we are able to do that we can easily solve this problem. So let's go ahead first step I will write down let x equals to the repeating part that is square root of 4 minus 1 by 3 root 2 multiply with again square root of 4 minus 1 by 3 root 2 again multiply like that I can go infinite times. Now if we observe carefully 4 minus 1 by 3 root 2 we have 4 minus 1 by 3 root 2 again we have under root 4 minus 1 by 3 root 2. So actually inside that in root under root this is repeating forever. So in this type of problems what we will do we will write down x equals to square root of 4 minus 1 by 3 root 2. Now observe carefully the remaining part I can write it as x again because it is repeating forever. Now we will square it on both sides. When we square it on both sides we will have x square equals to 4 minus x by 3 root 2. Now this is a quadratic equation. We can solve this by quadratic formula. Let us see we can use splitting the middle terms otherwise we will go for quadratic equation. So I will multiply with 3 root 2. We will have 3 root 2 x square equals to 12 root 2 minus x or can I write down 3 root 2 x square plus x minus 12 root 2 equals to 0. Now our sum here splitting the middle terms is plus 1 and the product is 3 root 2 into 12 root 2 which is 72 with a minus sign. Now we can write down two numbers such that their sum is plus 1 and the product is minus 72 by taking plus 9 and minus 8. So let's come down here. We'll write down 3 root 2 x square plus 9 x minus 8 x minus 12 root 2 equals to 0. Now we can take 3 x common. We'll have root 2 x plus 3 minus of four root two into root two x plus three equals to zero, which will give us the factors as three x minus four root two into root two x plus three equals to zero. Now certainly x value cannot be negative because we cannot have negative values in the logarithms. So this is ruled out that means 3x is 4 root 2 or x equals to 4 root 2 divided by 3. 
So we are able to get that x equals to 4 root 2 divided by 3. So this whole part is equal to 4 root 2 divided by 3. Now our problem becomes very very simple now. So now the given problem will become 6 plus logarithm of 2 the base 3 by 2 1 by 3 root 2 and that we need to multiply with 4 root 2 divided by 3. Let us simplify that. We will have 6 plus logarithm of root 2 root 2 will cancel. We will have 4 by 9. How can we write down 4 by 9 in terms of 3 by 2? Let us see that. 4 by 9 easily we can see that we can write it as 2 by 3 whole square. So, we can write it as 6 plus logarithm of, I have 3 by 2, I have 2 by 3, we know they are reciprocals. So, I can write down 2 by 3 whole square as 3 by 2 whole to the power of minus 2, which will give me 6 plus minus 2 into logarithm of 3 by 2, 2 base 3 by 2. We know that logarithm of a2 base a is 1. So, we will have 6 minus 2 which is equals to 4. So, the answer for this particular problem is 4. Let us have a recap of this. We have been given that 6, we have been asked to find out the value of 6 plus logarithm of 1 by 3 root 2 into square root of 4 minus 1 by 3 root 2 multiplied again with the square root of 4 minus 1 by 3 root 2 again multiplied like that forever infinite times now in this type of problems where you have infinite times of recur repeating infinite times what we will do is we will take it as x and we will see the part which is repeating now if i remove 4 minus 1 by 3 root 2 also the remaining part will satisfy the definition of x. So, I can write down x equals to square root of 4 minus 1 by 3 root 2 into x. Now, we squared it on both sides. We got a quadratic equation. We solved it by splitting the middle terms or quadratic formula. Since logarithms will not return negative values, we have taken the factor which will give us positive value. So, we understood that repeating part is 4 root 2 by 3. Once we got it, we came back and substituted 4 root 2 by 3, simplified that, try to write down this value in terms of the base so that we can simplify and get an integer answer which is equals to 4. So that is one interesting example I just thought of sharing with you. Please do let me know your feedback. Thanks for your time and support. Please take care of yourself and your loved ones. Be safe. Love you all. Thank you.